up for sale now at Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2012 Chevy Avalanche Z71 package, two-wheel drive, black on the outside with gray leather interior with, a, with um, factory leather, factory power moonroof, 18-inch alloy wheels, heavy-duty running boards, heated seats, and only 60,000 miles. It has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is the zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. It also has parking rear sensors, heavy-duty tow and package, and a three-piece uh, hard tunnel cover that you can put valuables underneath and lock it up uh, the tailgate, which is our, has our tailgate actuators, meaning when you hit the power locks, it unlocks and locks just like your doors. All right, uh, one of the many features is a remote start. I'll show you how that works. Press and hold this little circle. The car has to be locked. Press and hold this little circle here. And the car starts right up. This is a really neat feature, especially in the winter or when it's nice and cold outside. As long as you had the heater on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so with the heater, when it reaches enough temperature, it'll warm up the car for you. Uh, it does the opposite in the summer. As long as you had the air conditioning on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so with the AC, and it will cool down the car for you. When you're ready to drive off, just unlock the vehicle, put the key in the ignition, open the switch, and you're ready to drive off. If you change your mind, <clears throat> if you change your mind and want to turn it off, you simply press here, and the car turns right off. All right, let's go ahead and get inside, show you the interior features. You do also have uh, rain vents and uh, wind guards here. And you also have roof rack with crossbars that slide up and down the side rails for your luggage. Again, you get the uh, heavy duty. They're like about six inch wide um, factory running boards. Or like, they're like tubular running boards. The door panels are two-tone gray, what they call light titanium and dark titanium. Of course, you got power windows, power door locks, screws control, till wheel, power mirrors, heated seats. As I was telling you before, you can heat the backrest only or the entire seat. Automatic headlights that come out of sunset and come off at sunrise. A manual till wheel, curtain side airbags, as well as seat side airbags. Driver side power seat slides up and down, I mean back and forth and also up and down. You get a manual lumbar support and a manual recliner. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. As a matter of fact, there's no, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting. In this note, a smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been an outsmoker. Now let me go ahead and get inside now, get it started for you. Now let's start off by putting on the AC. As you can see, we got dual climate control. I'm putting the side, um, this, the driver's side right now, maximum low. And all that really means is that the AC vents on the left-hand side of the vehicle will blow out at 60, while the ones on the driver, the passenger side, will blow at 74, or whatever it is you set it to. Today is nice and warm, so we're going to put them up with a maximum cool. All right, now that I got the AC vents going here, let's uh, go out, uh, let's get a moonroof open. It is a glass moonroof. It is tinted, but also has this hard cover that blocks out the sun completely. Uh, it is a one-touch, also, by the way. You don't have to hold the switch for the moonroof to open. Okay? It goes about three quarters of the way and then you press it one more time to open it completely. All right, uh, like I said before, the vehicle has uh, 60,327 miles. So the right of the odometer reading, uh, you have the uh, outside temperature and also a compass. That lets us know that we're pointing and heading in the east direction. The car is running. Keep an eye on the tachometer. I'm going to rev the engine. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, nothing like that. The only light that you see on there, it's a seatbelt light because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video. All right, um, on the shifter lever, you have a plus and minus sign that is for your manual shifting mode and at the end is um, your towing haul mode and I'll show you how it works. Press here 
a little wet yellow wagon that's gonna come on here and to let you know you're in towing haul mode which disables the overdrive and makes the transmission shift a little differently in order to adjust for the extra cargo load. When you're done towing, press it again and you're back to normal operation. If you want to make a shift manually, move the lever down to reverse, neutral, and drive. And that's how you're going to drive it 99% of the time. But if you want to make a shift manually, you go down to the M and you'll see a 1 comes next to it, which means you're in first gear. If you tap on the plus, now it's going to shift up. Every time you tap it, it shifts up one gear, all the way up to 6, as this vehicle is a 6-speed automatic transmission. And then you tap on the minus to downshift. Okay? If that does not interest you, push the lever over the 2D, and the 6-speed automatic transmission will do the shifting for you. All right. Put it apart. All right. Uh, let's get the stereo on here. Participating Wendy's for a limited time. All right. Let's find a station here. Maybe this got music. Um, no stations that play music. Every, everything is commercial. All right. So you can raise or lower the volume here. Low right here. Mute it here. It does have the. Um, oops. My string got caught here. It does have the Bose stereo sound system. All right. Um, let me tell you what these other buttons do here. This one here is your source button. This helps you navigate from AM to FM. Right now we're on FM. To XM. Where right now we're on XM. It is on preview mode because you have to sign up for a subscription. One more time to AM and one more time back to FM. Uh, these buttons here are to help you navigate about your preset stations. Those are the ones that you set here yourself, which of course can be changed. All right. Uh, this one here is your seek button that takes you to the next available station. And when you're not on the, uh, by the way, this one here is um, once you uh, once you engage your your Bluetooth and you pair it, you're gonna uh, pick up the phone over here and hang it up over here. When you're not using the Bluetooth, you can hold this button down, the mute button, and access your voice command. Cruise control on the left hand side of the steering wheel. You got a leather wrap steering wheel. It's in great shape. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no paint missing or color missing, no stitching falling apart, nothing like that. Really nice condition. The two front windows are automatic, meaning one touch. You don't have to hold the switch for the, for the window to go up or down. Sorry, for the window to go down. For the window to go up, you do have to hold the switch. All right, um, you got a couple of cigarette light adapters here for your chargers. This one here is your power pedal adjustable. Uh, this allows you to move the pedals away from you or towards you about four or five inches which comes in really handy when you have a very tall driver or a very short driver well this one is for your parking sensors uh this is to disable the parking sensors those are the ones that beep when you approach another vehicle or object this one here is for your traction control to disable it um again i already showed you you got dual climate control you do also have an auxiliary port here for your ipod so you can listen to your ipod music right on your uh, Bose stereo sound system okay uh, in the center here you got cup holders and by the way this piece is removable okay and you can put it in either position front or back the cool thing about that is if you you know you spill like soda or coffee or whatever you can take it out hit it with those and bring it back in the car without having to bring water in the vehicle uh, this is your center console here where you rest your elbow and here you got storage and also um, USB port and below that another cigarette lighter adapter for your chargers okay down here is your main glove box uh, up in the top This vehicle is equipped with the OnStar system and uh, if you purchase this vehicle from us You will get a 90-day free trial with the monster at no cost to you And let me tell you what OnStar does for you for example if you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy Including the side airbags it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar center to let them know you've been involved in an accident They'll attempt to contact you to the car to make sure you're okay if you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time They'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid um also, if you have any kind of emergency, press the red button. The officer center will come on and assist you with that emergency. If you're lost in any directions, press the blue button. Yeah, they'll come on and give you turn-by-turn -turn directions until you arrive at your destination. If you check engine light comes on, press the blue button. The officer center will come on and give you uh, diagnose your vehicle remotely, tell you what's wrong with it, and how to proceed to take care of it. They also have roadside assistance and concierge service. For more details, visit OnStar.com. All right, and remember, you got 90 days free trial at no cost if you mention our dealer. All right, um, let's pan over the passing and seating area now, so you can see it's also in great shape. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no stains. And then after that, we'll move on to the uh, rear row section of the vehicle. All right, uh, turn off the vehicle here now. 
All right, this is a five passenger vehicle, two in the front and three in the back. And they all, or they all have over the shoulder belt, including the middle row passengers, which use this belt right here. In the back of the center console, the uh, rear row passengers can control the, um, the stereo. They can turn it on and off, seek forward, seek backward, change the source, which is again your AM, FM, XM. The programming which are your preset stations. They have also headphone jacks, and they can uh, raise the volume and change the tuning here. They also have another cigarette lighter adapter here, AC vents. This pops open into a cup holder. Um, uh, the rear door panels are the same as in the front. Light titanium, dark titanium. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. I'll show you how that works. You stick your key in there, give it half a twist to the left, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want it to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, put your key in there, give it a half a twist to the right, and this handle will start working again. All right, um, this uh, rear glass is... Uh, has a rear window defroster and is also removable. So you can take it out of here by pulling on these handles here and over there, and you actually there's a place where you can wedge it behind the seat. The seat is, um, oh, before I do that, but the seat here, uh, when you don't have a middle row passenger, you can flip this down and use it as a cup holder or armrest. And the seat also goes into cargo mode by simply pulling over here and then pushing this down here. Now that I get the seat all the way back, but this does go flat. And uh, this is the position where you're gonna put your glass in here and you're going to wedge it down with this like that okay and uh, this piece is actually removable so you can have like through the cab access onto the bed all right and as you can see it's a 60 40 you got 60 percent on this side and 40 percent on that side all right let's come around to the rear here you got a nice uh, three-piece uh, tunnel cover here that is removable you can remove one piece or all three of them and um, you also have a uh, uh, side storage over here Nice and deep storage down there. These do have to be locked with a key. Okay, right now they're open, so to lock it, you would stick your key, you get a half a twist, and this will be locked. These do not work with your power door locks. Only the uh, tailgate one does. You get the, uh, these, these are the factory flares that the C71 package comes with. You get them on all four wheel openings. All the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. These are the parking sensors that I was telling you about. There are two on each side of the bumper. Those are the ones that beep when you approach another vehicle or object. Your class three heavy duty towing package with the electrical connection, they're ready to go for all your towing needs. This vehicle is flex fuel capable, which means you can put the E85 flex fuel that costs about 30 cents less per gallon, but it doesn't mean you have to. You can put regular unleaded or premium unleaded. All right. Like I was telling you about before here, this is power lock actuator. Right now it's unlocked, so I'm going to open so I can show you here. You got a cargo mat over there so you can protect your bed. And these pieces have uh, little yellow handles here, or black handles with yellow tips. And uh, you will lift up and pull out to remove it. And there are three more handles down there. So you can do all three of them or just one at a time. And uh, these uh, seal up this area pretty good, so it's not completely... Um, uh, water free here, but you can pretty much put just about anything in there. It should not get much water in there because it's pretty tight. Okay, now uh, you close it manually, but I'm going to reach in my pocket and show you the pow how the power door lock works. Okay, so I'm going to lock the car. Now, there's a power lock actuator here, which means when I lock it, it's already locked. When I unlock it, I can access this again. So the cool thing is if you can, put, you can put valuables in there and you don't have to worry about coming back here and locking it up. You can just hit the power door locks and it's gonna lock just like any other door. All right, this is the same thing here. You have to have the key for this one to open it up. Right now it's unlocked, so you just push. And you have more storage on here and here's your jack and all your tools that you need to change your um, spare, uh, to change into your spare if you do have a flat tire. Right rear tail light, perfect shape. 18 inch aluminum wheels, four wheel disc brakes, tire pressure monitoring sensors, anti-lock brakes. Right rear door panel, same way, two-tone gray. In here, you got a couple of wing nuts here you take in, that's where your jack is at. We'll give you another look at the interior here now so you can see it's in great shape. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no stains. Got a set of map lights for the rear, rear row passengers over here. Excuse me. All right, let's come around to the front, and after that, we'll conclude the video. Right front door panel, same way, two-tone gray. And you also have power seats. Remember, these go up and back and up and down, okay? And manual lumbar, manual recliner. All right, let's pan over the passenger seating area one more time before we conclude the video. 
All right, before we conclude this video, we'd like to talk to you about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even get some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the home page, at the top of the page, you'll see a tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.